Hello everybody, this is Stranger Game at Year to get started with the Excellent Eggs Tournament. Yes, we are going to have three matches for this first round of matchups. So we will have these three matches up here, and then part two will have these three matches, and then part three will have these three matches. So I hope you're all stoked for that. If you are, make sure to crack open an egg on that like button. Let's get on with this first matchup which is the Zoe egg, the green egg, going up against the lightning egg. Ooh, we got Ankyceratops in the red corner. It's, it's a surprise, because I don't know what I'm going to get. Like, I, I, I knew it was a lightning dinosaur, but I didn't know which one. But we have Ankyceratops. Could be interesting. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Depends on what battle type it is. If it's charge type, then this moveset might work well with it. Oh, and it's backed up by a Lillian Sturnus. So that's our team for the grass, for the uh, green egg. Ankyceratops and Lillian Sturnus. Okay, Lillian Sturnus might be really good for the Sonic Blast. Very interesting there. Yeah, yeah, I know the switch. Oh, we got Centrosaurus for the Lightning Egg. In the blue corner, we have the Lightning Egg. And its first dino is Centrosaurus. Wow, this is going to be awesome. This, the randomness is insane. Okay, so Centrosaurus, that lightning strike's gonna put compose a problem. Who else have we got? Ooh, we got Pentaceratops. Ooh, that could be a good one. Pentaceratops. Didn't really do well in the lightning assault tournament, did it? Kind of disappointing. Looking to make up for loss. Looking to make up for it here. Ooh, this is gonna be a close one to call, I think. So yes, this is tag team format. I did forget to mention that in the last video. And the swap outs will occur when the dinosaur's HP is below half. And I will only attempt it once. So that's something I did forget to mention. Anyway, back to the match. It's Andy Ceratops starting off strong. A support effect coming in as well from Lillian Sternus. That could be quite useful there. Ranky Ceratops starting off strong. Boosh. Defense. Yeah, I was right. Defense versus green. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so Centrosaurus will attempt to swap out now. And he's going to fail that swap out because Ranky Ceratops gets off another hit. And he will get a hit on this Pentaceratops as well. Very good start from the Greek green egg. Oh, oh, we got a tie, and that will be all she wrote for Centrosaurus. So it's all on Pentaceratops now. Can the Lightning Egg even get a hit in this match? Oh, that's a tie. But the Pentaceratops does have the tie attack. It also has the Plasma Anchor. And he's also got a hit on the board. Not much damage dealt, though, but at least Pentaceratops, at least the Lightning Egg finally gets a hit. Okay, his health is not below half, so I didn't attempt to swap out there. Oh, who's got the Plasma Anchor? It's Pentaceratops! The Lightning Egg coming back into this match, you could say. Storming their way back into it. Boosh! Anti-Ceratops is yeeted by the Plasma Anchor there, and will now attempt to swap out. But will he get it? No, he won't. Instead, the Pentaceratops is going to take it out and even things up. And get a cheeky little hit on the Lillian Sternus. Now things get interesting. Lightning Egg in the Ascendancy now. Still got a little bit of ground to make up. Bray's made up for it now with a Thunder Driver. And I think this is going to put the Lightning Egg in the lead. Yep, there it goes. Right, that is all she wrote for the Green Egg. The Pentaceratops getting the job done. P 
picking up the slack of the Centrosaurus. Good win there for the Lightning Egg. Definitely got a good dinosaur in Pentaceratops. But that is the beauty of the Egg Tournament. You never know what you're going to get. Right, on to our next matchup, which is another Egg match, because they're all Egg matches, between the Max Red Egg and the Africa Egg. Ah, interesting. In the red corner, for the red egg, we've got the Tajongosaurus. Okay, this one might be a good one, because it's got Rock Roller. It's not the lethal type one, it's the, stre it's the willpower type one. But that Rock Roller is still going to do an arse ton of damage. And we also got Pro Sorolophus. Interesting. Pro Sorolophus, a pro... Don't know how well it will do, though, with the green impulse, given his technique is quite low. So, I, not the best dinosaur to draw here, but we'll see how it fits. However, in the blue corner for the Africa egg, we've got the Aranosaurus. And I'm pretty confident of the second dino. Well, you're going to see it. I know what it is, based on the limit. Based on the, um, what I know of the Africa egg. Aranosaurus could be a good one, though. It's got the nature's blessing there. Yeah, I am indeed correct. The second I know for Team Africa, it's Delta Dromius. One of my personal favourites in this game. I don't know why, it just is. The bite the wind could be interesting to see. I'm not sure what battle type it will be though. If it's blitz type, then that will be a shame because it will basically be useless. So I'm hoping it's not blitz type. But I have a feeling it might be. But, you know, that is what it is. Nothing, nothing I can do about it. Right, who will win this match? And yes, there's no, there's no best out of three in this because it's tag team, so whoever wins this match goes through. The Trodon's coming in with the move block there. Stompy, stompy, stomp. The Rock Roller gets triggered. Oh, we have a tie. Ooh, the Tajongosaurus gets the next hit. This is a good start from the Red Egg. It's a Death Grind, which is compatible with Tajongosaurus. Okay, now Rhinosaurus will attempt to swap out, because his health is in the red. By not getting the swap out, instead, Tajongosaurus is going to give it a one, give the Red Egg a 1-0 lead. Not good for the Africa Egg. The Delta Dromi is getting hit there. Well, the Lightning Egg turned his map there, match around. Can the Africa Egg do the same? Oh, okay. Maybe it is tight time. Maybe it is charge time. Okay, that's good. However, this is not good for the Delta Dromius. Tajongosaurus landing yet another hit. Oh, we got a support effect. Add insult to injury here. Please don't be rock. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> Poor Africa. Oh, bless them. Bless them. Bless them all. Oh, bless. <laughs> they didn't get a good draw, did they, Team Africa? They needed our Spinosaurus and our Kark, but unfortunately, they got lumped with a Rhinosaurus and, well, Dr. Dromi is a decent. It was just a Rhinosaurus is meh. <laughs> oh, bless them. Well, it didn't help that freaking Africa Egg didn't get a hit. But it is the Red Egg that is going through to the next round. Now then, on to our final match of this session, which sees the Blue Egg going up against the Earth Egg. Right, on to our third match of this session, and final match of this session, and yep, I... In the blue cor red corner, well, it should really be the blue corner, because it's the blue egg, we got the Talarurus. Now, this could be a good one to have, because it's got the Gigarock Hammer. And Talarurus has good synergy with the Gigarock Hammer. And it's got recovery as well, so it could be interesting, this. And he is partnered up by a Packy Rhinosaurus. I think the only blue lightning dinosaur in this entire game. I'm probably wrong, but when am I ever wrong? It's got the electric charge there, could be interesting. However, in the blue corner, for the Earth Egg, we have the Gastonian. 
actually, it could have been Gaston here for the blue egg. Had a little bit of blue in it. But he's on Team Earth today. And we have Ed because Ed makes you dead. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, and he's partnered up by the Dasantrarus. Ooh, this could be interesting. If the Earth Egg can get some hits on the board, that Earth Barrier support effect could be could be tricky for the Blue Egg to deal with. This could be this looks a decent team, decent team. I feel like the Earth Egg might win this. And if it does, he will join the Lightning Egg and the and the Red Egg in the next round. Earth Egg gets the first hit. Boosh! Ooh, ooh, but... The Blue Egg responds, and it is a Stomping Hammer. Boosh! Boosh! Which is not the most compatible move with Tala Rose, but it still does a decent amount of damage. Ooh, that's a tie. Okay, so Gastonia will attempt the swap because his HP is below half, whereas Talarurus will not. Okay, well, the tie doesn't count. Oh, it's Gasto. Is Talarurus getting the swap? Gastonia missing his chance. And that will put the blue egg in the driving seat. Oh, definitely now, because it's two versus one. Although, this Decentralis will have a tight advantage over the Pachy Rhinosaurus. Did forget to mention that. So maybe let's not count the Earth Egg out yet. Ah! <laughs> Decentralis getting a crucial hit there. It's going to need to get hits on the board. Earth Barrier will definitely help it, though. See, the problem is, is that that Talarurus is healing up while the Pachyrhinosaurus is in. So that's a problem for the for the Earth Egg. Oh, the bigger one. Luckily, it's got the Earth Barrier, so it won't take too much damage. Tapi Jara Dive will come in, though, as Crystal Crusher gets triggered. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, well, that's what the Earth Egg was hoping for, but instead it's the Talarurus getting that support effect off, stalling out the Desantarurus and healing up at the same time. Oh, well, the Desantarurus does get a hit. It's not Crystal Crusher, but he gets a hit. And he takes Pachyrhinosaurus' HP below half, so he could get a cheap little hit on the Talarurus. Nope! And the Pachy Rhinosaurus will get to swap out into Talarurus. Bing! Bing! Okay, yeah, I think the Blue Egg is going to win this, because the Pachy Rhinosaurus is going to heal as well. Of course, swapping will no longer take place now, since each dinosaur only gets to, gets to swap out once. But I don't think that the, the, um, the Blue Egg is going to need it. The Talarurus on top. Ooh, Quake Saber though. Can he kill this Talarurus? Oh wow, loads of damage done. I don't know if the Fairy is going to save it at this point, but you never know, it might. Okay, definitely not now with that tie. Yeah, there it is. Well, he took out the Talarurus at least. But unfortunately, the Blue Egg had the Pachyrhinosaurus waiting in the wings and gets the win over the Earth Egg. Well, I kind of didn't expect that outcome. I thought the Earth Egg was going to win with the with the Earth Barrier and the support Earth Barrier effect that the Desantorurus was could have given. But nope. In the end, the Blue Egg proving too strong and the Earth Egg seeing blue. <laughs> that, that didn't really make sense. But anyway. That is our three matches for this session. So we will have a look at our brackets and we will end the session. Right, there are our three winners. 
being inserted into this table here where they will play each other once and the winner and the guy who gets the most points out of this bracket will go through to the finale. So we have the lightning egg, the red egg and the blue egg. It's going to be a very intriguing mat couple of matchups this. Like, I feel like the lightning egg got really lucky with the pentaceratops. If it didn't have pentaceratops, I feel like the green egg would have won. And then obviously the, the Africa egg got desperately unlucky there. Didn't even get a hit on the board. Like, maybe if it had Spinosaurus and Kark, those were the two that probably needed the most. The red egg was just too strong. And then you have this that matchup with it. I thought the Earth Egg was going to win. And when you saw a lightning dinosaur come out from Team Blue, you thought, okay, yeah, Earth Egg's got a type advantage here. It can take advantage of that, but it just they just couldn't do it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And stay tuned for part two, where we have these three matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.